A dying Chevron executive is excited to one day become oil. A man wearing red glasses and pink pants is probably Dutch or something. And the report of a popular fish's death is starting to get around the tank. And now a summation of the cultural zeitgeist in an economical and easy to imbibe digital globule. This is the Onion Week in Review. According to alarming reports from international relief agencies, tens of thousands are dead this month in an ongoing Africa, plaguing the regions of Ethiopia, Chad, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, with millions more being affected by the highly lethal continent. The persistent and destructive Africa, which has been described by experts as the worst the area has seen in recent history, has killed 100 million people over the past 10 years, with thousands of children succumbing to Africa-related complications before the age of five. Graphic images of violent military crackdowns and vicious slaughter additionally confirm that large parts of Egypt, Sudan, and Somalia have once again collapsed into full-scale Africa. Baltimore onlookers said that Secretary of Transportation Ray LaHood flipped out at a pothole located on the city's West Pratt Street Thursday. Screaming for nearly 45 minutes at the 22-centimeter wide, 8-centimeter deep concrete depression, an enraged LaHood reportedly reamed the pothole out for being a, quote, goddamn disgrace that's trying to make him look like a fool. HBO executives revealed Monday the future of their hit series Game of Thrones is in question, as the series is quickly running out of unkept and bedraggled old men to cast. Saying the big crowd scenes in the show's second season have severely depleted the amount of greasy-haired and scraggly-bearded actors over 70, showrunners stressed the importance of having at least one grimy and weather-beaten old man per episode. Frankly, I, I don't know what we're going to do for the third season if we can't find more elderly and disheveled men to cast. We've got, uh, we got several big war room scenes planned that are... Definitely gonna call for old guys with scraggly beards just standing around. The Game of Thrones crisis is just the latest in a series of casting difficulties for HBO, who in March revealed they had already used their annual allocation of Steve Buscemi. And in this week's op-ed pages, a local man talks about how he was always just one of those kids who was off by himself taking cats apart to see how they work. In other news, an Ohio Film Festival graphic designer decides to go with film reels for the O's. Getting Grandma into a family reunion t-shirt is a three-person job, and Harrison Ford chuckles to himself after realizing he hasn't been in a movie people liked in 18 years. The entire 144-minute cut of this week's review is available now for just $11.99 on Laserdisc. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat.